Very good morning. Thanks for being with us. You're with the news here on Mirror Now. My name is Apoorva Shridhar. Let's begin with our top focus story coming in where Puri's famous Jagannath Rath Yatra is currently underway. Remember, the annual chariot festival, which is normally attended by lakhs of pilgrims, uh, this year is going to be celebrated with restrictions that, remember, were imposed by the Supreme Court yesterday after it was allowed. Now, this includes closing of the entry points into the city of Puri and also imposing curfew till 2 p.m. today. In fact, uh, we're also given to understand uh, that the curfew-like orders have also been imposed in Puri to further curb the movement. Those visuals that you're seeing on your screens there are of uh, the famous Puri's Jagannath Rath Yatra procession which is currently underway there. In addition to this, the top court had ordered that each chariot cannot be pulled by more than 500 people at a time. And the Odisha government has to maintain record of all the attendees of the event. यहाँ एक एडिशनल डीजी लॉन्डर जो जो सी सोमेंद्र पेदासी हैं, वो इसके ओवरऑल चार्ज में हैं, और तीनों रथों का जैसे ट्रेडिशनली किया जाता है कि एक-एक सीनियर ऑफिसर एक-एक रथ के चार्ज में रहते हैं, तो डीआईजी यहाँ के जो सेंट्रल रेंज के डीआईजी हैं आशीष, वो चार्ज में हैं जगन्नाथ रथ के और बाकी दोनों रथों के चार्ज में हैं एसपी यहां के जो पूरी के एसपी हैं और डीआईजी जो एसटीएफ के हैं डीआईजी एसटीएफ हैं पंकज और एसपी पूरी हैं उमा दास ये दोनों बाकी दोनों रथों के चार्ज में now remember, uh, according to the Supreme Court order, there are a list of restrictions that have been put in place while allowing the Jagannath Rath Yatra procession to carry on. These include all the entry points into the Puri city will be shut. The curfew in Puri will remain till 24th of June till 2 p.m. The chariots will be pulled by 500 persons at the most and there is going to be an interval of one hour between the chariots and appropriate social distancing norm needs to also be followed. Most importantly, only COVID negative people to perform the ritual. The Rath Yatra is going to be widely telecast and the state government to have records of all the attendees who are taking part in this Rath Yatra. So we're looking at those visuals that are coming in. The procession has already begun. We're looking at uh, measures that are being put in place. Only the police personnel and the government officials are allowed, while only 500 people are allowed to pull the chariot. And this is as per uh, the order that has been put in place by the Supreme Court while it allowed the Jagannath Rath Yatra to carry on. It has put in a lot of restrictions and curbs and also asked uh, the Odisha government to maintain the record of all those who are attending uh, this procession. Let me bring in my colleague uh, Siddhant who is joining me live from Puri from on ground getting us all those updates there. Siddhant, we understand that the Jagannath Rath Yatra procession has already begun. Tell us what do you see around you? What are the kind of measures being put in place? Is it in accordance with the Supreme Court order that has been uh, announced yesterday? Well, yes, uh, mostly it is in accordance with Supreme Court order because we just saw that how the truck uh, went inside to spread disinfectant to sanitize the entire premises of uh, of uh, of uh, of the uh, of the chariots first second uh, you can see the vehicles have just arrived the shankracharya of uh, of uh, jagannath puri has just arrived for the rituals and the puja and now the puja uh, will take place inside before uh, the uh, before chariots will start journey, uh, journey uh, to the temple now uh, what is very interesting here to see is that the district magistrate of puri has confirmed to us that uh, that they they had uh, tested all of the temple staff pujari one have been tested positive and contract contract uh, contact tracing is being done other all have uh, the reports have come negative so more than 1000 people were uh, uh, tested all have come negative except one so all those who have come negative are allowed inside so you can see uh, that barricades there i would ask my video journalist gopal to show those are the barricades the people inside them have taken covid test at the same time no devotee is allowed uh, inside uh, the Puri district, the uh, district borders are sealed. At the same time, all have been asked to wear masks, use sanitizers, maintain social distancing norms. Now, not more than 500 people can 
pull one chariot there should be a distance of uh, one hour between one chariot and another chariot at the same time uh, at the same time those who are on board have already taken covid test and their reports are negative this is what the district magistrate have told us on record so more or less the district administration uh, is following uh, is following the supreme court orders because supreme court has allowed this uh, entire rath yatra without procession without the presence of the devotees and they have put in certain conditions also and it is a duty of the state government and the district administration to follow okay. those conditions at the same time odisha government has taken a responsibility of coordination between the central government and central government guidelines at the same time with the temple administration so odisha government at this point in time is uh, taking care of uh, the of uh, the social distancing norms as far as uh, the the guidelines uh, that that, uh, that from the central government and the order that have come from the supreme court so now you can see uh, the puja is going to start the lord have uh, arrived inside the chariot uh, so the first two, uh, the first one uh, first chariot is of lord jagannath the middle one is of goddess subhadra and the last one is of god balabhadra who is an elder brother of lord jagannath so the the chariot the procession uh, goes to the gundichi temple here 3 kilometers away from this side where lord jagannath was born now this particular uh, this particular tradition has been going on unhindered from the year 1736 and as additional solicitor general tushar mehta also mentioned this in court uh, at the time of hearing that if court will not allow lord vishnu to come out of the temple tomorrow then uh, this tradition uh, this uh, tradition will get hindered for the next 12 years so next from next 12 years this tradition can't take place so that was a compulsion and this is the reason that you know even the even all these points were raised in odisha government's affidavits and then central government also clarified their position in supreme court yesterday there were several petitions several petitions now even i am speaking to people here um, here across the across religions also they are saying that it is not just about one religion the puri rath yatra is an identity for the odisha state and we cannot let it go like this and this is the reason that we have compromised on the devotee part and no devotee is is allowed we have compromised on the procession part but rath yatra should take place and this is the reason okay. it has got a lot of economic uh, uh, factors as well because it is a tourist destination and uh, it is a tourist destination and lot of tourists come every day uh, uh, every year here so you know there are lot of factors uh, which which uh, which were raised in supreme court also and finally without the devotees for the first time in the times of covid-19 pandemic uh, this particular rath yatra is taking place uh, after the supreme court's uh, uh, green signal with proper conditions with proper social distancing norms and whatever maximum can be followed uh, is being followed by the district administration back to the studios Absolutely, uh, Siddhant. Uh, uh, this is, of course, extremely important updates that you're getting us at this point. Uh, the fact that all the temple staff have been tested in accordance with what the Supreme Court had ordered, but also, Siddhant, uh, what has been the kind of deployment of the police as well as the government officials on ground? And even as we speak, there are, of course, restrictions uh, that has been followed. But what is the biggest challenge before the Odisha government, even after following all of these norms? Well, that's right. You know, there is heavy police deploy uh, deployment on ground. Uh, the special forces of the Odisha police are also present, special commandos. At the same time, the local police is also present. Uh, uh, usually, uh, the police's work is to uh, look after the law and order. But uh, and th this is what they are doing since morning. Several patrolling and uh, and uh, area domination flag marches have been conducted by Odisha police. Now the task is to keep people inside the road because there there is a high possibility that devotees can come out of their uh devotees can come out of their homes to uh, catch a glimpse okay. of rath yatra but to avoid any that kind any such kind of a situation uh odisha police is doing patrolling uh, uh a, a flag marches uh, to asking people to stay indoor and not to come out on the roads and here on ground it's a curfew like orders given where the entire district is in shutdown uh is shut down till the yatra gets over and nobody is allowed no buses are coming in no trains are coming uh, coming in to the uh, puri and no devotees are also allowed back to the studio we have already received now we are now okay okay, okay. 
All right, uh, Siddhant, many thanks for joining us and bringing us all those updates there from on ground as uh, the procession is currently underway for the chariot fest. This is, remember, the Jagannath Rath Yatra, which is, of course, the Supreme Court has allowed with several restrictions, several curbs that has been put in place.